I don't mean to interrupt. <clears throat> dang, like, dang, I, I really need a cigarette right now. Don't go to her. It's... apologize for my I'm like trying not to have a fucking nervous breakdown I'm trying to not lose it I'm trying to process these emotions I'm feeling it all I'm feeling all of you guys all of you and when I think about when I said expose the people you expose will get a chance to be heroes and whatever but, but I don't even like that word. What I mean is to tell me who they are. And I will not go out and embarrass them or shame them or anything. I'll just say their names. I'll just say your names and you get to come up and say what you are, who you are. I won't do it. I won't. I'm serious. Every one of you. I don't want to hurt you guys. I don't want to embarrass you and have you put in jail or hurt you and make you go through any more suffering. I don't want any of you to go through that. You know? I'm, so I'm sorry, we're exposed and that's the right word. What I meant was to tell me who you are, who they are, the people, and then I'll introduce you, the world to you. I'll introduce you to the world, and then, because there's no escape in it, you're going to get introduced to the world. Either way, the spotlight's going to be as you, it's just what you depends on what you're doing under the spotlight, which will determine your experience and destiny and all this, too. Okay. Oh, the baby, Michael Miller, okay, Supreme David Rockefeller was the first person ever in Hanson the real machine, which is, um, Pemba had told me about this about four years ago, told me that they were figuring out, they were figuring out how to put black aura, the aura that the dragon can inhabit, and humans that didn't have that aura, um, naturally, um, he told me there was a lot of glitches in it, but there was some serious setbacks, like, he didn't go into detail about what they were, I should have asked, but, um, and so, I found Gerald the Dar, okay, and the Royal VRIL Society, and the Dual Society, and, um, other players, Bob Brewer of the Knights of the Golden Circle is also totally entwined in the circle with these, and, um, the dragons have been watching all of this. The dragons told me because I've been in communication. I got letters and texts me, and they told me who they were and exactly who they were. And the Jill act like he didn't know that the dragons were intending on inhabiting their bodies because Jill and his people, I think, getting their powers activated and these people and then controlling them or whatever. But then I don't think they realized that the dragons knew more about their projects than the people that were involved in they did. And the dragons were waiting and, uh, to inhabit. Supreme Rockefeller, I don't know if they do that, but, and then uh, Michael Nora Prescott and Tiffany were unnaturally enhanced in the girl machine, and then uh, their third triple helix activated, and then Baby Lucifer, they didn't just say, oh, we're going to go have a Baby Lucifer, this Baby Lucifer has been like part of a formula that has been going on for a long time, because see these dragons, and their life spans thousands of years. They're not immortal by any means, but they're hard to kill, but they live a lot, they live thousands of years. And <clears throat> so we keep coming back and forth. Because um, when they inhabit the human body, the human that they push out before the human dies gets caught in like a, a limbo or a, a purgatory type thing where we keep coming back. And not remembering anything over and over and over again, like going into kindergarten a million times or something, and then never knowing that we ever went through it before, because being pushed out of our throughout time, every one of us had given up. Every one of us had sold out at one time or another, for one reason or another. But the baby was born. Baby Lucifer was born. He's about six months old now, and I, okay, so like about 
there was supposed to be serious rituals because Michael and Tiffany were not supposed to keep the baby. The baby was not weird for them to keep it. They were having a baby and they were supposed to turn the baby over as soon as he was born. And so there were serious rituals that were supposed to be done in the baby. I'm baby Lucifer. And his birth name was by baby Michael, but still, he is Lucifer. He is the uh, biology, because the scientists, they know how to test the biology and how to make certain biology turn into certain stuff. It's like sm way smarter than I'm able to comprehend. I mean, I can, but it's anyhow, it's, these people are so smart. These dragons and these scientists, these people, they're so smart. I don't think Joe's a dragon. I'm not sure. He's something different than all this. Because we're dealing with other intelligent life forms being here that can be created by taking, uh, creating things and mi mixing DNA and stuff and making, like, making it the danger, making a computer more intelligent than us. It could, whatever. It's, there's intelligent beings here of light, crossbreeding, like in the Genesis in the Bible, genitals, genealogy, snake, it was a dragon that got Eve pregnant. And that's what it's for. Um, but baby Lucifer, okay, it, when she was eight months pregnant, Michael all of a sudden ran away. He took Tiffany, it had a hole, and they ran away with her pregnant. And because we've been talking on the phone and stuff, and you know, the baby, I've been a part of this, like, as soon as they should, you know, I've been a part of, even before the baby was conceived, I was asked, but still, I've been part of these, I've known them, people in their lives, and I've been a part of this baby's life. <laughs> and they, Michael just, they don't, because they, they, they're abused, like, sexually and all this stuff, bad stuff that, like, Cindy told you about happened to them, too. And, my eyes are so bad, I can't see how many minutes. Um, I'm dead behind um, tree. So, there was what she was supposed to be performed on the baby because the baby, this baby, he's like a bionic baby. Like, um, he was born with this, with his mom and dad. Artificial uh, enhanced in the room is she a triple helix given in the black world which dragons can inhabit powers like certain powers superhuman powers but really and they were unnaturally like the baby that baby Lucifer was born with it okay this, these black girls and the dragons were ready to inhabit them their, their mouths were watering you know but Michael you know, Prescott took off the Tiffany when she was eight months pregnant with the baby he would never planned or thought of this because they don't think that the minds aren't like that it's not something they were ordered to do so it was like a first for him something he'd never done before which is totally do that take off with her and the baby he, and he got 